Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I just wanted to, in case you didn't already notice, it's pretty chilly in here this morning. For some reason, the, the heat is not working. The uh, uh, pilot light is not even on on the, on the uh, uh, furnace downstairs, the, the uh, boiler in the boiler room. Um, so if you get cold, we do have heat on in the parish hall. So if anybody gets too chilly, we don't want anyone to get sick. Please go in there and, and warm up if you need to. Um, it, we will try to uh, get get through the service today without rushing. But let me just tell you, it'll be somewhat long because we have not only the the first of the month prayers where we remember each person on the intercession list by name. But also the the list of people that uh, that, is, that we're remembering on All Saints Sunday, so on All Saints Day, which falls on on a Sunday this year. So just a reminder about all of that. Um, do we have anything else in the way of announcements this morning? Our thanks to Doug for doing them. We, we are live streaming at this point for how many weeks now, Doug? Three or three, three or four, yeah. maybe. Okay, and um, it's it has gone pretty well, and and and, and thanks to you, the, the kinks are getting ironed out uh, as we go along the way. I told Doug it would take me thirty times as long uh, to try to get any of this done. So we appreciate his willingness to share his skills and to make the service available to the people that are at home. We're glad all of you are here on this All Saints Sunday and hope all of you have a blessed day. <clears throat> blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God, the peace. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God of heaven. Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray together the collect for all saints then. Almighty God, you have knit together your life in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Give us grace so to all your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. <clears throat> Reading from the Revelation of John. I looked and there was a great multitude that no one could count, from every nation, from all tribes and peoples and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, robed in white, with palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, saying, Salvation belongs to our God who is seated on the throne and to the Lamb. And all the angels stood around the throne and around the elders of the four living creatures. 
and they fell on their faces before the throne and worshiped God, singing, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders addressed me, saying, Who are these robed in white and where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you are the one who knows. Then he said to me, These are they who have come out of the great ravine. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. For this reason, they are before the throne of God and worship Him day and night in His temple. And the one who is seated on the throne will shelter them. They will hunger no more, thirst no more. The sun will not strike them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd, and He will guide them in the springs of water of life. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Beginning and ending with the refrain, we'll read that portion of Psalm 34. <laughs> Taste and see that the Lord is good. I will bless the Lord at all times. The situation will ever be in my mind. I will go away to the Lord. Let the humble hear and rejoice. Proclaim to me the greatness of the Lord. Let us exalt his name together. I thought of the word of God, and he answered me, and he lived me out of my terror. Look upon him, and be radiant, and let not your faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. The angels of the Lord encompassed those who fear him, and he will deliver them. He saved the seed that the Lord is good, and I have made him trust in him. Fear the Lord, you who are his saints, and those who fear him by nothing. The young and lion will laugh at the suffer's comfort, but those who seek the Lord lack nothing that is good. The Lord ransoms the life of the servant, and none will be money to trust in him. The nations can see that the Lord is good. The second reading is from the first John. See what love the Father has given us, that we should be called children of God, and that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we know is this when He is revealed, we will be like Him, for we will see Him as He is. And all who have this hope in Him, Purify themselves just as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak, and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you, and persecute you, and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. May the words of my mouth and the meditations of my hearts be acceptable in your sight. 
O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Many of you are probably familiar with the readings that we have for All Saints Day. And some have, have said, one of the commentaries mentioned how these readings have, have likely been read for All Saints Sunday for centuries. So we go back a ways. This is quite a tradition. Some of the experts think that the church began observing the saints, and at that time it was basically the martyrs or the people who gave up their lives to serve others. Um, and that time, since then, of course, it has expanded to include a number of other people. But it, it's an interesting thing to think about how long we have observed and recognized and remembered saints. And I think that often we forget that in the, the Holy Scriptures, in the New Testament anyway, saints are simply the fellowship of Christ, the people who believe that Jesus is the Son of God and try to follow his ways. And of course, we all know from experience that that trying to follow Jesus' ways is not always easy. And let me just make an aside here and say, the Lord knows we need his help and his guidance. And I would ask you, as I said, taking aside from All Saints Sunday, please keep our nation in your prayers, especially for this coming Tuesday. I meant to mention that during the announcements. If you would pray for peace, pray for that all people who choose to get out and vote may get out and vote and do that, and that that will be done peacefully, and that the results will be accepted peacefully, and that God will protect all people, all of our law enforcement people who may be called out to, if, if there are protests or that sort of thing. But please pray for God's guidance and for God's protection for all people. And, and of course, for justice and for the willingness to see that we are all brothers and sisters in Christ the willingness to see that, as John mentioned in his letter, that we are all children of God. And back to All Saints Sunday, being children of God, we have that promise of eternal life. And it seems that November is one of those months we start out remembering the people that we have known and loved who we believe and find comfort knowing that they're in God's nearer presence. And we end the month giving thanks. And it's probably a good thing to do both at the same time, to remember and to give thanks to God. Because I don't know about all of you, but there are times, especially as I remember my parents and, and our grandmother, I remember how we kind of took things for granted. And that we, until we got a lot older, didn't realize how wise they were and how much they knew and how much they gave up so that we could have a decent life and that we could have, so that we could be kids, so that, uh, so that we could be stubborn and sometimes stupid teenagers. They were willing to love us in spite of all of that business and all of that rebelliousness and all of those mistakes that we make in the way of, of growing up. And they provided wonderful examples about faith and about love and about forgiveness and about the importance of trusting and believing in God, believing in Jesus and the Spirit, and the importance of family. Some have said that this portion of Matthew's Gospel which we know as the Beatitudes or the Sermon on the Mount, that if we hold that up as a moral compass for all of us to live up to, that most of us would agree that we would all fall short of that. But it doesn't mean we stop, we don't keep trying. We remember the promises that Jesus has given us. We look at his life and remember what he has taught us. And we try to live 
with joy, and with gratitude, with thanksgiving, and remember what Jesus has taught us, and remember what those who have gone before us have taught us and what they have given us. And may we gratefully receive that love of God in Christ. May we gratefully receive the love, even if it's an imperfect sort of thing, given us in love shared in our families. And may we always be willing to give thanks to God for the power and the presence of that love and for our willingness and grace to abide in the love of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. Crystal, 
Almighty God, by your Holy Spirit, you have made us one with your saints in heaven and on earth. Grant that in our earthly pilgrimage we may always be supported by this fellowship of love and prayer, and know ourselves to be surrounded by their witness to your power and mercy. We ask this for the sake of Jesus Christ, in whom all our intercessions are acceptable through the Spirit, and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Pray together. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought and word and deed by what we have done and by what we have left us. We have not left you with our own time. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we only repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Okay. 
in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God. Lord of love and hope, we remember before you today those loved ones that we have known who are now in your nearer and loving presence. We give thanks for the promise of eternal life that you, O oh Lord, have given us through Christ your Son. We are grateful for the lives of these loved ones and pray that they may know eternal blessings and peace in your heavenly kingdom. We remember and give you thanks, O oh gracious Father, for the lives, love, and prayers of these people. Lee and Dorothy Arnes, Norman Arnes, Andy Appleyard, Charles Appleyard, Danny Appleyard, George and Grace Appleyard, Jennifer Appleyard, Jimmy Appleyard, Jim and Ruth Appleyard, Louis Appleyard, Louis and Mary Appleyard, Jane and Tom Parker, Jane and Dallas Barkley, Charles Barney, Jane and George Barney, Mary Helen Baby, Gary and Jeannie Bell, John Bell, Steve Bell, Marion and Vivian Bell, The Fugins, Fred and Roberta Bodie, Fred Bodie, Charles and Josephine Baby, Bruce Bonnet, Mary Lou and Ken Boydell, David K. Brooks, Jr., Don Bruno, Terrence Butler, Jane and George Campbell, Judy and J.R. Cannon, Betty and Jim Capriola, Betsy Clark, Reba Cook, Arnold F. Deer, Sr., Louise Deer, Georgia DeVolt, Michelle Delaney, Harold Early, Larry Eaton, Leroy Eckersley, John and Mary Ingler, Keith Ingler, Bertha and John Erdogan, Maynard Evans Jr., Ben Evans IV, Peter Evans, the Reverend H.B. and Edith Fairman, Stephen Fairman, Tom Fairman, Tim Farrell, Toby Finn, Bill and Dorothy Franks, Bernadette Francisco, Chauncey and Terry Franks, Rachel G. Lowe, Belle George, Marguerite Gossett, Nancy Gray, Elizabeth Hargrave, Mary and Larry Harper, Jack and Virginia Harsel, Bob and Lucy Heath, Bob Heath 
Jr., Jesse Heifel, Elizabeth Higginbotham, John Higginbotham Sr., John Higginbotham Jr., Larry Higginbotham, Lloyd and Maude Higginbotham, Denver Langston, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Hoskins, Dr. and Mrs. R.L. Hoskins, B.H. and Helen Howard, Skip and Helen Hoskins, Charles and D. Hanson, Mrs. 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 Hanson, Mrs.
and therefore we praise you, joining with the heavenly chorus, with prophets, apostles, and martyrs, and with all those in every generation who have looked to you in hope, to proclaim with them your glory in their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, above God and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And so, Father, we who have been redeemed by him and made a new people by water and the Spirit, now bring before you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be the body and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, gave thanks, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Remembering now his work of redemption and offering to you this sacrifice of thanksgiving. Lord God of our fathers and mothers, God of Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca, Jacob and Rachel and Leah, God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Open our eyes to see your hand at work in the world about us. Deliver us from the presumption of coming to this table for solace only and not for strength, for pardon only and not for renewal. Let the grace of this Holy Communion make us one body, one spirit in Christ, that we may worthily serve the world in his name. Accept these prayers and praises, Father, through Jesus Christ, our great High Priest, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, your Church gives honor, glory, and worship from generation to generation. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Father of all, we give you thanks and praise that when we were still far off, you met us in your Son and brought us home. Dying and living, he declared your love, gave us grace, and opened the gate of glory. May we who share Christ's body live his risen life. We who drink his cup bring life to others. We whom the Spirit lights give life to the world. Keep us firm in the hope you have set before us, so that we and all your children shall be free, and the whole earth live to praise your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you and those you love always. Amen. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.